Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. And it's been an amazing shift, okay? So, that's amazing. What is that over there? Oh, that's mine. Okay. Um, all right, deck is ready. Let's see what this shift's all about. It is, you know, it is 333. It is March 3rd, 2019. Numerology, it all breaks down. It's 333. Um, <clears throat> unless I break it down in numerology, it'd be a little different. But numerology, if you break it down, it's the year of the three, it's the third month, all that, it's nine, okay? But um, it's just connecting mind, body, and soul, that type of stuff, guys, which I think is, is the shift, but... Whatever it is, um, it's it's beautiful. It's not it's not gonna be heavy. Not like what what we've been experiencing. Okay, so March third, two thousand nineteen. See, look at that. The sun. The sun is shining. The mama's glowing. So. This reminds me of heat. I don't know if you guys are on vacation right now watching sunsets, feeling the glow. Because um, even when I was out on the steps this morning, I just shut my eyes. And when I shut my eyes, I don't know, it's got to be like, I don't know, 30 in New England, something like that. But when I shut my eyes, I literally pictured myself sitting like in a sunset, like with the sun on me. It was nice. Okay. It, it's that type of energy of healing, rejuvenation. Okay. <clears throat> what else you got for us? What else you got for us? Just seeing, just seeing these cups. Lots of cups. <clears throat> I don't know why that song just came to me. Havana, na na. Anyway, so we got the five of wands, okay? This right here <clears throat> is actually Venus and Aquarius, okay? This is, you know, it's like rivalry, but it's like, it's not necessarily a lose-lose, but I mean, your thoughts, someone's thoughts are, are, are no good. It's like you're battling yourself, to me, is saying, stop battling. It's going to get better. The sun's going to shine. Um, watch with the thoughts. Be positive. Okay? Because I don't like that. <clears throat> and we got the king of pence. So this is... You jump from your thoughts to being extremely stable. You can own a business. Um... You're just, you're going in the right direction. You could be in the midst of some type of battle between a Leo and a Cappy. Um, some type of competition. Um, tell me about the sun. Let me clarify these. To me, you're possibly battling yourself with a direction. <clears throat> the sun is the five of pence, okay? So, <clears throat> feeling lonely, feeling left out, not really knowing what direction to go into. Because this is, this is mental, okay? So, take a break. It, it's time to heal, okay? Um, it really, truly is time to heal. Especially if, if you've had a miscarriage or a loss of a child. I'm incredibly sorry. Um, <clears throat> but this is it, this is healing energy. So you're coming out of the loneliness. You're coming out of this in order to heal. Okay. Tell me about the five of wands. Even though this is, I you know what's ironic? It's the five of wands. I thought it was the five of swords. You, you definitely have Venus and Aquarius energy here because I said it. So this is kind of like the five of swords, which is ironic because I said competition, which would be the wands. But this is, I think, you honestly battling yourself to get to this stability 
because you jump from the five to the king, that's that's huge. So right now, stop battling yourself. <clears throat> break free, you know. Break free, break through the games. Someday somebody's going to turn around and say goodbye. Till then, baby. Oh, damn. There's a tower. Of course, I had to sing that song. All right. Possibly that kind of just happened. But to me, this is an awakening. So this is the end of the competition, the competitive, the, the enough of the battling. I honestly think you're battling your own thoughts, your own, you're fighting your own Leo. Your Leo and your Cappy are fighting. Altered energy type thing. Um, foundation, it's an awakening, okay, because this is a good sign. So this is, we're getting rid of this. We're getting rid of the loneliness, com the competing, the competitiveness, the, the mental battle, the thoughts. You know, do I want independence? Do I want to be free? Do I want that? Or, you know, King of Pence can be a very, you know, committed person. So it's kind of like you could be dealing with a scorp too. Put a scorp in the middle and you're battling your scorp. All right. Um, tell me about the King of Pence, please. Some of you definitely went through a breakup. There's that cup I felt. There's that cup I felt. So, to me, love's going to lead you exactly where you need to be in due time. Stop battling yourself. Stop feeling left out. Um, like, the sun is coming. If you guys can take a vacation, you've been mentally stripped, take a vacation. If you can only get outside, get outside. Okay, whomever this competitive energy is right here, you guys are going to end up working together. And you're walking right back into somebody's arms. You did walk away from somebody. I think you're dealing, because you got the devil here with the nine of cups. That's not toxicity. That's not drinking. I mean, it can be, but not with this being together. Okay, this is, this is a new opportunity coming around, rolling around the mountain. All right, um, tell me about the tower. To me, this is... Somebody had to let go of something in order to break free. Break free, break free, break free, break through the chains. You know what I mean? So it's like somebody's going to, it's like that can even be spirit. That's somebody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we have some Viking energy here. Um, it begins with an N. It's telling me something about the wings. But it's a protection thing. Okay. Tell me about the tower. <laughs> <clears throat> to me, it's an awakening. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I think I'm getting a little sick. Um, and it's a little, it's a little chilly. I did go. I started jogging again today. All right. So four ones. This is feeling like this. Going to this. This is not your home being taken. This is brand new. This is an awakening, and it's gonna bring you this, and it's bringing in that that person. That person's gonna offer the cup the bottom of the deck is the queen of wands i mean the queen of pence which now we got a court couple that's gonna be in a commitment if you have enough strength if you can go into it with confidence take a leap of faith one door closes for another one to happen and then you pull the unknown because that's where you're going okay um so let me pull you one card for this entire spread. One additional card. The bigger meaning here, please. The bigger meaning. <clears throat> That's too many. Bigger meaning, please. Overall message. Bigger meaning. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your hat is with somebody for sure. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. Okay. Don't don't give up. Don't give up. Here comes the healing. Okay. Especially if those that are feeling restricted and all this underlines energy. Don't give up. This is kind of reconciliation too, is what it's saying. So, <clears throat> everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. It's going to be a good, good night. Okay. Um, tell me about temperance real quick. I'm trying to figure out if this is a reconciliation or a healing. Temperance, temperance. It's the page of swords with the emperor. So the emperor's watching you. It looks like they want the reconciliation. 
Okay. Um, so somebody's strong in Sag energy right now too. Or the Sag is watching an emperor. Or the emperor is watching the Sag. But there's that fire energy. Then we have the cappy energy. It doesn't matter who's what, guys. It's just saying... To me, this is going to be um, a type of reconciliation, you know. You're still being watched. Somebody from a company can be watching temperance. Someone's about to have a new job opportunity because somebody is being watched. Or a job promotion. Because this just went, <clears throat> this just took me straight to work. And you did have the Eight of Pence at the bottom of the deck earlier. Somebody's watching somebody and they're amazed on how they can heal a community. Which is beautiful. So this might be a job opportunity coming your way. Tell me about the Emperor. Because <clears throat> the Emperor's watching. Or this is somebody, this is an, an ex-lover or a new lover about to enter your life. But it's like they're... <clears throat> they're watching you, so you must know this person. Yeah, this is an opportunity. It's a matter of will you take it, and it's from the King of Cups. So it's... <clears throat> it is what it is, folks. <clears throat> There's quite a few different stories here. So I hope you resonated with some of it. But it's it's ultimately going to be a beautiful shift to get you to get you exactly where you need to be. It can also be telling me that the King of Cups, now that this person, Emperor, has feelings, they feel like they missed an opportunity and they could be feeling left out. But <clears throat> when I read the bottom of the deck, that's not the case. One door had to shut for another one to open for you guys to have the full energy to go towards the unknown. So it's a good shift. Even though it feels like your world's crumbling with the tower here. <clears throat> but the tower is bringing you, somebody's moving right there too. <clears throat> That's a good tower. Um, or it's crumbling your foundation or you're about to have a huge awakening on whereabouts you're about to live, which could be linked to work. Um, tell me about this four of wands. Because this would tell me if it's what type of top too many six of pence so it's even out the scale so again I don't it could be work it could be home life but it see it's a good thing because it's balancing out what what's happening okay um so it's still great energy guys we just have a, a few different stories so again I hope some of them resonated with you and I just looked at my clock it's 0404 I'm not sure if that means anything to anyone. But at the end of the day, guys, that was awakenings. That was a shift of energy. That was something coming your way or vice versa, depending on if it's a lover, work. Um, I just want one card, please, one card. Um, whatever situation ship you're in, okay? <clears throat> So I just, I'm back to that song again. It's going to be a good, good life. All right. And there's the four of wands. So exactly <clears throat> what I was saying earlier. It's, it's a good thing. All right. This is a move. Somebody is moving and you definitely need the confidence. Okay. And the person that could be moving is a new person entering your life or just somebody in general that you know. Okay. Again with the eight of pence. So see what I'm saying? This person, you could literally be moving, have the confidence, okay, especially if it's not an easy move, or the thing that's moving is this energy, and it's moving right towards you, because again, there's two of you, okay, and to me, a lot of you guys are going to work together, why? Because it's the eight of pence with the three of pence, that's a contract, it's also a spiritual contract, and whatever it brings is the ten of pence, so that tower is a great tower and it looks like the empress is going to carry this energy or is carrying this energy 
Um, well, it looks like the two of them are the Empress and the King of Swords. There's that tower, but it's a beautiful tower. It's here to bring you out of your five of pence. Okay. Why? Because the universe is going to give you a brand new start. It's beautiful. I love what I do. I hope this helped, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. I know we're getting a big storm if you're in New England. Stay safe, okay? I love you guys. I'm trying to find my little mousy mouse. My little clicky clicky. What the hecky becky. Bye, guys.